So right now, the media's face is pressed up against the window of the candy store, and they're salivating, the glass fogged, hoping against hope, staring into a field of dreams, believing if they build an impeachment, a crime will surely come. So let's step back and see this for what it is. Another example of the media and the Dems fashioning the worst of things out of the best of times, all to avenge an emotional loss. You want some examples? Well, as America leads the way in climate with cleaner energy, the left tells their kids we have a decade to live. As race relations improve from the mass demonstrations of five years ago, the media sees racism in every nook. As men and women reach equality in all facets, the media questions whether gender is just a fantasy. And as women and minorities gain more employment than ever, the guy running the show is called a bigoted sexist, a guy called Trump, a guy who wakes up every morning in that candy store called America, wondering what we can get out of the world and not the reverse. For him, it's not about money, influence, or sex. God knows he's had enough of that for five lifetimes. It's about the job and you're his boss. See, he's a guy who is stingy with both blood and treasure, which is why he's trying to replace real wars with trade wars. He's sending in accountants instead of tanks. And yet, even as America is governed by an orange Gandhi, the media and Dems see him as Hitler. You see the trend? As the world gets better, which the metrics show, the media panics. How can they report good times if Trump's involved in all of them? So every day is doomsday since 2016, which is why now they're outside that candy store waiting for that sweet impeachment, desperate for the taste of revenge, the sweetest bonbon of all. Hold your applause. (laughs) Dana, uh, while Donald Trump was talking, apparently, like, the other networks were cutting in and out to fact check him. Mm. Isn't that nice? Would Would they ever do that to Obama, you think? No, I no. don't. How I don't dare think so, they? But hopefully we wouldn't either, right? Yes. That would be the thing. If you want to take the president's speech, take it. Yeah. Um, but look, everybody, to each their own. However you want to get your coverage, and then we'll get uh, you know our viewers and yeah. the meetings. Um, I do think when it comes to the media, for example, earlier there was a story that broke around 4 o'clock. Um, the Washington Post uh, said that the acting director of national intelligence was threatening to quit yeah. because he was not going to be allowed to speak freely. And the press secretary at the White House said, the, White House, the Washington Post gave us literally six minutes to respond. That's her words. I don't know exactly what happened. That's what she said. Mm-hmm. And I know what it's like. You're at UNGA. You've got six minutes. You're like, wait, I've got to call the DNI. You've got to check with the National Security Advisor. You've got to call the CIA. I mean, there's, you can't do all of that in six minutes. They went with a story. It goes out there. All of a sudden, then you have the acting director of national intelligence say, that's not true. Yeah. I never threatened to quit. I've never, I was never going to quit. He will be on the Hill tomorrow. I do think when it comes to all of this, the, the breathlessness of the reporting it is always good to remind ourselves that waiting for more information is always a better answer. Mm-hmm. And I do think that that is true for the Democrats as well. I find it really curious that Nancy Pelosi, who had been so cautious and put and, and, and kind of like off putting to her, um, the rest of her caucus saying, we're not going to go for impeachment right now. This is bad politics. We don't have anything. There's no smoking gun. We don't have the evidence. And yet they do this before they get the transcript. Right. Seems to me like they went out on the limb and then sawed it off. She was like, a, she was like hesitantly, she didn't want to kick that soccer ball into the net. She, but she felt, oh, they're screaming at me. The mm-hmm. base is screaming at me. Katie, what happens if they actually undo an election? Have they thought it through how, ha- what, how half of America might respond if they try to impeach a president based on a phone call? What would happen? Well, Mike Pence will be president, and that'll be much worse. <laughs> That's it'll right. be much, much worse. So maybe they should think about this twice. Yes. You know, it's amazing how they continue to talk about the need to protect democracy and the voting and all this stuff, but yet they are now going down this road of reversing an election that they don't like. And they've done this through a number of steps, through the, the Russia investigation, this phone call now. We haven't been able to name any kind of high crime and misdemeanor that any of them can mm-hmm. cite properly with any kind of evidence. And the question is, is the media ever going to learn anything? I mean, are they activists or are they reporters? Because a lot of the stuff, you know, the Mueller report was supposed to show everything that happened. Robert Mueller was supposed to breathe life into the report. None of that happened. And here we are now with the transcript, which doesn't show the quid pro quo, which was reported yesterday multiple times. It doesn't mention Joe Biden nearly as many times as reported. And yet there's no correction from 
quite frankly, anybody about the fact that they got this wrong. And I wonder if they sit around in newsrooms and ever have a conversation about how they can do things better, because there's a lot. You know, Jesse, this is like another textbook example of the accelerating mob. Saw it with Covington, you saw it with Kavanaugh. All this is going to do is red pill another three or four million Americans. Yeah, I don't trust the media anymore after they screwed up royally on the Russia hoax and they did it again with Kavanaugh. And now they've done it again with this story. They got way out in front of over their skis and it looks like it was a big nothing burger. Am I allowed to say nothing burger? I don't like nothing okay, burger. I'm I'm nothing, I'm nothing a nothing burrito. I'm about okay. a nothing burrito. Nothing burrito fits fine. <laughs> I want to go back to something that Juan said. He said it is uh, a crime. What is the crime exactly, Juan? I think that he was asking a foreign government to interfere in American politics. Okay, so was that... Okay, he didn't, that's he not didn't a, ask okay, interfere. That wasn't a statutory crime, number one. Number two, isn't that exactly what the Obama administration did no, when they we've used been their allies this. to help spy Never. on the Trump campaign? Never. And, but Never here's what? the thing. Never asked an ally Okay, so the British help. weren't involved in spying? No, excuse me. The Italians were involved in the Australians? Excuse me. The United States intelligence community, in the process of gathering information, said they had conversations with people in Britain overseas. Uh, okay, That's so not they, the Obama administration. Okay, okay, so the Obama, FBI, DOJ, the FBI. and CIA oh, aren't see. the Obama this administration? The state. Juan, go back to school. I All see. right, here, also, how is this, they say this is not even a campaign uh, violation. That, that's the level of the crime. It's not even a campaign violation no, because there's nothing, a thing of value attached to it. Okay. Oh, yeah, information. There, there's no, okay, okay, so how did this? Hillary Clinton? The nine million she sent overseas to get Russian dirt on Trump that they used to spy on him. That's not a thing of value. But this is I think Democrat Biden's not be. even the nominee, and this is his son. The the non Democrat nominee's son getting looked into is a well, thing and of value. Apparently okay, the on. Obama team at the time during the presidency was uncomfortable with the judgment that Hunter Correct. Biden was exercising. And well, uh, good for them. And but, but then but didn't do anything. About it, right? That we know of. Maybe they were. Maybe they staved off other things. How do you we think they know. would allow Hunter Biden to freelance in Ukraine while his dad's running Point? Well, that's what I'm and, saying. And enrich him. So, like, how would they ever allow that? But, I thought but, this and was the supposed China, to be the most must have been on crack. organization. And the China example could be worse. And and that story was going to come out. So both of these things that Nancy Pelosi was hoping were not going to come to fruition, or at least not right away. Impeachment and the Hunter Biden and the and the questions into the Biden uh, whole. Extravaganza, you know, the, the trip to China on Air Force Two. Right. Those are two things that she was trying to stave off. Now they are front and center. And one thing about the election, we're in the middle of a Democratic primary, lots of Democrats running for office. We still have 20. Um, Biden has been able to defy gravity in all of these polls for a long time with one key issue electability. Yeah. So now his polls number, his polling numbers have started to come down. Elizabeth Warren's have been on the rise, but there's still a lot of time. There could be changes. If you are a Democrat today, and the only thing you want is to beat President Trump in 2020, and your key issue is electability, does any of this make you feel like Joe Biden could be more right. vulnerable yeah. in 2020? And well, I think the answer is yes, and you'll see some I don't of these Democrats I don't think so, and let me just say why I don't think so. First okay. of all, what you got is, I mean, you were suggesting earlier, oh, you know, Nancy Pelosi's out on a limb and it's been sawed off. In fact, more people, after the release of today's memo, are saying, you know what? We're behind impeachment. And I think you're going to see yeah, this choice. kind of shift right. in the polls as well. And when it comes no, you to this whole business polls. about Joe Biden and Bo Biden, this has so no, been investigated. So much Hunter <laughs> Biden. Who investigated so, it, Well, Peter Schweitzer is the one who started this with his book back in 2018. Yeah. And then you see a lot of this okay. echo in John the conservative King. chamber. And you know what? John people King's have looked into oh, wait, this. People? people have searched through this, yeah. and it hasn't you know, come to I, I anything. It hasn't say. come but to anything because all the liberal media no, covers for him, Juan. That, oh, this is all you have. Oh, let me just Juan, say. Juan, if Don Jr. You, made a billion on, from Jesse, China, wouldn't you think second. that was wrong? The thing about this is you say, oh, it's the media. Is the media not supposed to report when the president of the United States engages they in this are kind of behavior, this. when they have this they have no oh, they're not supposed to say word. Oh, it's the media's fault. They're not fault reporting. That they're the president controlling is and manipulating. They have to show both sides. To interfere with the Let's show both sides. I think we have a great montage. Uh, I think we're going to compare two different kind of examples of the media. I think it was this Russian versus now. I think that's what we're doing. Why not? Maybe. I certainly say with confidence that there is significant evidence of collusion. It's a crime. It's on the statute books. Uh, and uh, crimes are typically uh, impeachable offenses. The beginning of the end of the Trump presidency 
This is about a commander in chief who actually is meddling with America's national security. What we're seeing uh, is worse than Watergate. I keep getting asked, are there echoes of Watergate in this? And there are. To quote, uh, Katie, to quote CNN, uh, same playbook, different day. That's how they talk about Trump. They were talking about themselves. And if you look at the credibility of who's making these arguments, people are going to say, okay, President Trump has been right about this. And people like Adam Schiff and people in the media have been wrong. They've never produced the evidence that they promised. And I got to say, Democrats better be careful what they wish for because every time they call for one of these investigations, yeah. people start looking around about what's going on. And it always come back, comes back to prove that they've been accusing President Trump and Republicans of exactly what they've been doing. And so there are are serious questions about whether, again, Joe Biden was selling influence through oh his son, Hunter gosh. Biden, and whether these deals were being made as a result of his I dad heard the, being I haven't heard that part. President. Where is that coming from? Because I definitely hear the Hunter Biden questionable judgment thing, but that Joe Biden no, I benefited mean, I, financially? No, I'm saying Hunter Biden benefited financially from his father being oh, because, the vice president. Oh, because they said right. we want to get selling, close to your dad. You know, getting influence, You know what amazes me? Imagine if, yes. because you guys keep bringing up Obama, yes. imagine if the Obama asked a foreign leader to say, hey, can our, can my lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, or can my attorney oh my general, God, Bill Juan. Barr, get involved with Juan. your investigation? Juan. Juan. Remember, no, just well, remember this. Ahead. Ahead. He's sure. the president sure. of the United okay. States. If he thinks someone has committed a crime, he can go to the Is Justice it? Department and say, hey, okay. we need to investigate. Or nothing. go overseas what? and say, hey, nothing. you get What do you think in the Russia investigation was? It's a counterintelligence investigation under the auspices of the commander in chief. He set that up. They he, did it for God. the president it's, himself. It's, they did it for Obama. Oh, it was I a see. counterintelligence oh, investigation. So in, in other words, it was Obama, run through the FBI, Obama, the DOJ, and the CIA for Barack oh, Obama. It was see. not criminal. So, in other words, Obama's the one who leaked the that, one. that the Russians were giving, had some interference in the election to benefit. Donald Trump. That was Barack no, they, Obama. No, they just spied on him and this, trapped his this campaign is a, this and then is, illegally investigated Jesse, you're weak Let me your just tell you another thing. With this There's kind a of you're dash. saying this isn't investigated oh fully gosh. and no one ever found anything? Nobody. Okay. Some Zero. Chinese diplomat goes to the Trump Jeez. Tower Hotel, orders a cocktail, and liberals fire up oh five God. lawsuits. Liberals. And liberals. they want to, like, investigate and impeach over the emoluments oh clause. Oh, yeah. But Joe Biden's son takes a billion from oh the Chinese, and you think it's not been investigated fully? It hasn't. In other words, Jim Comey. It hasn't. Jim, if Don Jr. did on. that, you think that I would be okay? So Jim Comey, who's a Republican, Robert Mueller's well, Republican, no, all these I've guys investigate. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. It's I deep think. state. I love, your, you I love you Republicans, Because Juan. all this, I need, Juan, what happened you guys today, are hypocrites. Because what happened today with this, we now know, no sawing off of a branch, we now know that this president tried to get a foreign power involved in American That's politics. That's what the Obama the administration what just did to you. You know what's that. great? Everybody in America is going to read the transcript, and yeah. then, it's good. then everybody's going to go, what a bunch of garbage. The media lied to us again. Right.